It ain't creepy. I mean, yeah, I can see you when you're sleeping, and I know when you're away, but honestly, that don't mean I'm paying a lot of attention to you. I'm exhausted. I gotta keep an eye on 2,000 Waffle Houses. See, now this is why two lists ain't enough. Like, we got naughty and we got nice, but we need a third list for just being inconsiderate. I mean, look at this. You knew what day I was coming, right? It never changes. I'm still gonna drink it. All right, here we go, boys. On Dasher, on Daryl, on Dale and Dale Jr. The Grinch has gotta be a Yankee. I mean, he's rude, and he tells everybody he'd rather do it his way. Dad or he's from Atlanta. On Cash, on Merle, on Hank and Bocephus. Yeah, now, now these boys can get high. No, I'm talking about flying. Yeah, what, what's wrong with you? How old is this kid again? Six months. Well, the, <laughs> this ain't gonna work then. You go, hey, give me that pot of meat right there. Thank you. I mean, this stuff's practically baby food. There you go. Oh, come on, there you go. <sighs> yeah, that ain't going nowhere. On Bud, on Bush, on Cope and Hagen. Yeah, oh yeah, I got way more than eight of them. But I mean, I live out in the county, so nobody cares. A wise man once told me the best way to spread Christmas cheer is getting off early and cracking a beer. <laughs> You know Buddy too? No, he's not an elf. He, he has that used tire shop in the old Chevron. You know, now that you mention it, his ears are pointy. Can you believe this kid asked for snow? I mean, the closest thing I can get you to a white Christmas is like one month of free CMT. Plus, the last time I did that, I ended up fist fighting somebody's pawpaw in the Piggly Wiggly. You know how awkward it is for me to end up on the naughty list? Uh, Easter Bunny Southern too. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Pale thing breaks into your house, takes all your crap, throws it in the yard, then you gotta go out there and get it. I mean, I just, I just described my last three X's right there. That looks store-bought to you? Well, I, mean, I ain't got nothing against store-bought. I'm just saying, if you're gonna go to Walmart, then you might as well just get me the good stuff, you know? Right here. Last guy just got stuff for the kids, but I do a little something for everybody. First year grandmas get this uh, sewing starter kit. All the other grandmas just get a really nice empty box that they reuse every Christmas. The pawpaws tell me the greatest gift they could get is having all their family come together under one roof, and uh, the, they mean that. The mamas tell me that too, but uh, what they really mean is they're happy that everybody's distracted by new stuff, so they'll leave her the hell alone for like 30 minutes. Yeah, no, dads are tricky, but what I usually do is give one really hard to open present to their kids. That way dad can sit there and like take his pocket knife out and do one of these. They, they eat that up. They love that. I tell y'all what, I wish y'all would stop doing this right here. I told y'all we got something better. Intimidator on the refrigerator. He ain't no snitch, but he's always watching. Looking over you and me, Wrangler Good Wrench number three. Race hell, praise Dale. You like this new suit? Yeah. Well, it's a little more crimson than I wanted, but you know, that ain't a problem for me. You know, you know, unless I'm in Auburn or Knoxville or Baton Rouge. Hey, have you ever had reindeer chili? Oh wait, no, they can't understand me. I mean, I mean, they're magical, but they ain't smart. You know, I mean, they're still gonna stare at a pair of headlights coming right at them, except the headlights are usually on a airplane. It's a little frightening. Now, I used to put coal in stockings, but they got a strike going down at the mine and I got to stand with my brothers and sisters in the UMWA. Uh, besides, I found something way worse. <laughs> yeah, he ain't getting a mile down this road. Somebody gonna try stuffing mouth this baby. 